There are a number of issues that directly impact the community oncology market, uh, primarily around the way that physician practices are paid uh, and reimbursed for the vital services that they provide. Unfortunately, in today's scenario, um, the way that community oncology practices are, are reimbursed don't accurately uh, reflect the costs that are associated. The way that Part B drugs are reimbursed, we're under consistent pressure uh, and downward pressure, starting with sequestration when ASB plus six was effectively moved down to ASB plus 4.3. This is, this is at a time when the ASP model is not accurately aligned with the cost of the drugs. There's currently a prompt pay discount, a customary prompt pay discount that's included in that calculation that oftentimes reduces the baseline ASP by one to two percent. This, this discount is not passed on to providers, yet when they are calculating the ASP and basing reimbursement on that ASP, that discount is applied. Our job is to make sure that there's accurate alignment in the actual costs of doing this vital service, of treating these cancer patients in the most convenient setting. And if we can align those costs and protect the viability of community practices, then we'll be able to keep our doors open. Uh, but this constant pressure of sequestration applied to the underlying fixed costs of the drug, of ASP including a prompt pay discount that is not extended to the providers, these constant downward pressures are forcing this trend of consolidation that we're seeing where community practices are closing down or moving into the hospital setting. That's obviously costing more money to Medicare and to the patients.